Early warning radar network. And let's take a look around the Thompson Roofing and Construction Sky Camera Network. You'll notice over top of Huntsville, we got mostly sunny skies. Temperatures in the mid 90s right now, so a hot finish to the work week. But you'll also notice from our Muscle Show Sky Camera, we got some of that heavy rain off into the distance from these thunderstorms right here. And you can see that same thunderstorm looking off to the west from downtown Decatur with some pretty heavy rain falling and also quite a bit of cloud of ground lightning. Of course, with those temperatures in the low to mid 90s and the humidity in place, that's putting the feels like temperatures or the heat index closer to the triple digits. Uh, Huntsville's at 98, but we've actually touched 100 here earlier this afternoon. 98 right now in Muscle Shoals. So still plenty of fuel out there to feed some of these storms that have quickly developed over the last hour. What we're seeing on the way 31 storm track early warning radar network. Obviously that big cluster of storms closer to Lawrence and Franklin County now just exiting parts of southeastern Colbert County. But you also notice a pop up shower just off to the south of Scottsboro. But by far most of what we're tracking right now is for those areas to the west of Moulton. And you'll notice over the last hour the the storms are moving a little to the south southeast, mostly to the east, but a little bit to the southeast. So these will continue to race towards Morgan County. Heavy, heavy rainfall and quite a bit of cloud ground lightning. I would estimate about 10 to 15 cloud ground lightning strikes here just in the last 15 minutes. Along with that, heavy rainfall is just going to make for poor visibility if you're driving through this. So take it slow. Maybe give it some time for it to pass if you're traveling in these areas. If you put a track on this, it's moving at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Should be moving close to Molten here at about uh, 5 p.m. So it's about 10 minutes from now closer to Decatur at 523 Hartsville at about 548 and closer to Falkville at 610 and we still actually have a one out of five severe risk in place where you see yellow on the map. It does appear that most of these storms are developing along a boundary south of the Tennessee River that will continue to sag south here over the next couple of hours. So areas closer to let's say Coleman like we have a better chance of seeing some of those storms. I will get the day planner for tomorrow. We already have a decent shot of showers and storms in place around six, seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. But with temperatures climbing up into the mid 80s and the cold front coming through from out of middle Tennessee, that's going to give us an even higher chance, about a 60 to 70 percent chance by the late afternoon hours. So there's a look at future radar. And again, keep an eye on stuff off to our south. That's that same boundary of storms that's developing right now, but it will be sagging south to the rest of this evening. So it looks like if you're closer to and north of the Tennessee River, once we get past this little bout of storms, we should be for the rest of tonight through the overnight hours and into your Saturday morning. A few pop up showers and storms possible, but even with temperatures only making it up to the mid to upper 80s tomorrow, that's plenty of fuel with that cold front moving in to really get the scattered showers and storms going. You'll notice widespread storms all the way through the late afternoon and it's your Saturday evening. We lose the heat though. Eventually those storms fall apart, but we'll go through the process once again into your Sunday. So again, this is some much needed rainfall. You'll notice just through the next five days as you start to get into some of these purples on the map and the darker the purple you see, that's closer to two to two and a half inches of needed rainfall. And I say needed rainfall because look at this. This is the latest US drought monitor. This came down yesterday morning. It's updated every single Thursday morning. The tans that now extend through Huntsville and into Jackson County and most of Lincoln County, Tennessee. That is moderate drought. So that's some enhancement here at the latest update. And then you'll notice this orange right here. That is severe drought that now bleeds over into parts of Lauderdale and Colbert County and even off to our north. Notice the red. That is extreme drought. So again, desperately need some of that rainfall. So Day forecast highs in the mid 80s this weekend would be the coolest days that we've seen in about 10 days. And then we are back up to the low 90s by Tuesday, even mid 90s by the middle of next week.